Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so don't make the mistake I made. Um, I bought this meat tenderizer at a garage sale and I thought that it looked like Bakelite, but I did not test it because I don't know why I should have tested it, but I researched other ones that were identical, same packaging and everything, and they all said Bakelite in the title, so I just went with it because it wasn't a real expensive item. Well, it sold last night and I started getting a little nervous. I'm like, you know what? I better test it just to be sure because people list things wrong all the time. So I don't recommend not testing. Um, I used to use 409, but somebody in my Facebook group, which I'll, the Facebook group is down below. Um, if you want to join it, we talk about bolos and um, there's two different groups that I have, but check those out. I think you'll really enjoy them. But Semichrome, I think is how you say it, Polish. And he told me to get this, and he said that it works better than 409. So I went ahead and bought it, and I will post a link to an eBay listing down below. I'll, put, I'll try to post the one where I got mine because I bought mine on eBay. But um, if they're sold out, then I'll just pick another one, and that'll be easily, easily, easy, easy for you to find down below in the description. But I've got... Uh, I've got this thing that I want to test, which is a meat tenderizer, which is super cool. This is a, um, it's to cut cake. And I am pretty certain that that is Bakelite. Actually, I just did this video and I messed up, so I'm re-recording. So anyway, I already know the answer, but I will tell you. But before I tested it, I was pretty sure because this green looks like um, I sold this game that was all Bakelite. It was my best bolo ever. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. It's called like my best bolo video ever. And you can see what I sold, but it was a game and it was all Bakelite. And the green reminded me of this green. So I'm pretty certain that that is Bakelite. I also have these dice that came in this case, which I don't think are Bakelite, which I know the answer. Because, like I said, I just did this video five minutes ago and totally hit stop video when I went to look for this. Just a cheap piece of plastic, you know, that cootie game that I'm going to sell. And um, I'm going to start with this. So, we know that this is not Bakelite. So, I'm going to take the semi-chrome and I'm going to put it on this Q-tip. Just a little teeny bit. I mean, it's not very big tube. But you, I mean, it's kind of like a purplish color. You don't need very much. And I'm going to rub it on the side of this uh, thing. And it looks like it's dirty. Uh-oh. Let me, uh. Hmm. Let me try again. I should have cleaned the product first. All right, here we go again. Okay, now it's clean. And I'll show you here in a minute. I'm just trying to get a really good, it's just, um, it still has like a purple, a hint of purple and like kind of like a dirty color to it. And it is not turning yellow. All right, I'm going to pause this a minute because my alarm is going off on my phone. Okay, so here's the meat tenderizer box. This is what it looks like. Super cool. And I'm going to put some of the semi-chrome on it. Just need, like I said, a teeny bit. And I'm going to just rub it across here like this. I'm going to get it real good so you guys can see it. And then I will um, clean the handle just because I'm using whatever this stuff is on it. And I don't want to ship it with the chemical or whatever it is on it. Okay, so you can see it's kind of a yellow color. Here is the one that I used that was plastic, okay? So I just want to show you the difference in color. This is, has like kind of a purple color. And that was just that cootie toy, that plastic cootie toy. And this is the one that is, uh, that is, uh, what do you call it? 
Okay, so now I'm gonna test this dice. Die, die, this die. Dice, die. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this stuff on it and then I'm gonna just kinda go over it. And I did not think these are, were Bakelite and I believe I was wrong. Um, I always get nervous, like I'm not doing it right, but let me put a little more stuff on there and just give it another, whoop, a little bit too much there. I just want to make sure, because if I list them as Bakelite, you know, I don't want to send somebody something that's not Bakelite. I need to watch actually a YouTube video and just see if there's a... Yeah, it's it's definitely okay. So the first stick is the the cootie. Oops, let me turn it so it's so cootie. That's the meat tenderizer second, and this one isn't as dark, but it's kind of like um, a smaller area that I was covering, and I didn't have as much stuff on it. You guys see this? But it definitely looks like Bakelite. Um. I've got one more here to test, and this is the sponge cake or angel food cake cutter. And like I said, I know the answer. I was pretty confident in this one before I even tested it, which makes me excited because that means that I am learning and I have no more Q-tips. So I am pretty confident that that is Bakelite. And again, um, this side was the dice or die that I tested from the dice pack. And this is, you can see the three sticks. So I am going to say that everything, even the dice that I thought were not, are actually egg light. So that's exciting. I'm going to test the other ones because there's a, I mean, they look the same. I, I mean, it's a complete set. One, two, three, four. There's five dice in here. So I think I can confidently list those as Bakelite now. And that should help. But I don't have the lid. I left it over. This is what you're looking for. And again, I'll post a link down below. Um, this is just like for people who, like me, have not had a lot of experience with Bakelite and are interested in selling it. So you can see what the little sticks look like. So it's pretty cool. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that. Uh, click the like button and comment because that will bump me in the search results and I really appreciate it. My channel is mostly geared towards Bolo's items you can be on the lookout for that you can buy low and sell high. But Bakelite is a Bolo. So I thought I would share this with you guys and I hope it helps and have an awesome day. And um, yeah, like and comment. Thanks.